Well, it's kind of like time to do uh, maintenance on the tiller. I need to uh, check all the grease and lubes and oils and all that kind of stuff. And so, first thing I'm going to do is power wash it so I can inspect it a little bit better and then we'll do a little video. The chickens are really messing with me today. I keep hearing something and when I look in here, they're all just looking at me like, what? But man, why I would tell you what, look at the meat on these guys. <laughs> then I'll tell them what. Well, one of the first things I have come across on this here, I've already wiped a bunch of it off, but I've got a bunch of grease leaking out from somewhere, so we're getting ready to find out where that came from and what i got to do to stop it and see if maybe I've got to re-grease a bearing or something. Alright, here's what I found. Inside this cover that's on the end, we got this sludge. See it oozing and dripping down onto the floor. I think it's supposed to be a gear oil. I'm going to check the manual just to be sure, but uh, I know it's not supposed to be this stuff and I know it's not supposed to smell like the sewer, so that's what I'm going to be working with. And uh, I'm going to probably take and pull this cover apart too and see if there's something I can seal up in there. But right now I'm going to go up and get me a pop tart and a ice cream tea and have me a little snack and then I'll come back and finish this up. Well, I got everything all taken apart on there. Um, got everything all cleaned up with uh, my solvent. Clean the pan. Got a bad breather. Huh. Guess I wanted to zoom out for a second. This breather, um, you probably can't tell up, but that end's rusted up in there. So I don't. I don't usually have much luck trying to fix those kind of things, but I'll probably see how much they cost and. And cleaned up the chain and everything. Everything's looking good and sprockets and all that kind of stuff. Bolts, nuts, everything. And I uh, guess that's all I'm going to get to do tonight. I'm going to have to probably um, do a lot more wrenching on it to get those bearings out so I can clean those bearings good. And then uh, that way I can repack the bearings. And, and uh, I'm probably going to have to get some parts. So. Looks like we'll have to continue this here another time. Thanks for watching.